knows it's something here, but it's, it's quite amazing being here uh, on the banks of the Danube River uh, here in Budapest, uh, the site where uh, during the Second World War, uh, towards the end of the Second World War, the Hungarians uh, brought their Jewish neighbours uh, and murdered them here on this part of the river bank. And these shoes are symbolic of that memory uh, and that story. But the general history and the greater history of the Jews of Hungary is a very important and interesting story to tell. The Jews lived here uh, in somewhat peaceful scenario and situation for hundreds of years. Uh, with the Nazi entrance and the Germans, the start of the Second World War, uh, the Hungarian Jewry were relatively safe. Uh, safe up until 43, 44. Uh, and in April, May of 1944, the Hungarians themselves decided, with slight pressure, from the German Nazis to round up the Jews. The Jews from the surrounding villages and not from the main cities were taken en masse by the Hungarians and transported to their death almost always on the same day in Birkenau, the well-known Auschwitz Birkenau German Nazi death camp. For me, this is a very personal story. My daughter's great-grandparents were Hungarian Jews. They were Jews who lived here in Hungary, who were Hungarian citizens, and they were taken themselves and transported to Auschwitz-Birkenau, where her great-grandparents survived. However, my daughter's great-grandfather was married. He was married to the wife and two young girls. His young daughters, who were just a little bit younger than my daughters today, were murdered, brutally murdered in the gas chambers of Birkenau. Now, when I first visited Auschwitz-Birkenau, the only thought that I really had in my mind was of these two young girls. And being here and seeing these shoes lying on the floor, these shoes of men, women and children, is so symbolic and, and also harrowing. And this history and understanding exactly what happened really is very moving and very, very meaningful. In fact, it was Winston Churchill who said in July on July 11th, 1944, that perhaps the biggest crime in all of history was this transportation and this max execution of Hungarian Jewry. Churchill called this the biggest crime in history. In the history of the world, in fact, is what he said. And again, to be here and to understand this and to be standing here in Pest and looking over the river to Buda and, and seeing this beautiful area and, and this you know historic, wonderful place, to know that it's marred with so much tears and so much pain and so much blood and you know the the, the stories from this place uh, are very difficult uh, and and bring a lot of mixed emotions uh, as a jew standing here less than an hour before the start of shabbat it's a very moving and meaningful and powerful experience so from here from the incredible holocaust memorial on the banks Danube, I wish all of my friends and family and followers around the world a Shabbat Shalom. I hope that we all have a peaceful Shabbat. I hope that we have a Shabbat full of love and, and emotion and connections and a week ahead of only good and powerful and wonderful things. From Budapest, Shabbat Shalom.